Hi, my name is David Merrill. This is the first of a series of a demonstration uh, courses and lessons illustrating e to the third power instruction. e to the third power stands for effective, efficient, and engaging instruction. And on my website, which is listed on the screen, uh, you will find a paper talking about how to find or evaluate existing instruction. Uh, I hope that you enjoy these demonstrations. Thank you. In this demonstration, we will demonstrate from a course on entrepreneurship. Effective instruction is usually based around whole problems. In this course, the whole problems are how to start a business. In this demonstration, we will show how uh, to demonstrate a whole problem, including some of the steps involved. There's Nanang, a graduate of Brigham Young University, Hawaii, returned to his native homeland of Cambodia, where he wanted to start his own business. Cambodia is a poverty-stricken third world country in Southeast Asia. Cambodia has suffered from 30 years of civil war, which ended in the late 1990s. Many people in Cambodia live in extreme conditions of poverty. The economy is slow and mostly based on agriculture. One day, Vezna's brother tells him that two things are needed in Cambodia, construction and pigs. After careful analysis and research, Vezna decided to start a pig farm. Vezna was not an experienced businessman, and he knew it. So Vezna first looked for mentors who could help him start his business. While studying at Brigham Young University, Hawaii, he met a business teacher who had a lot of experience in business and entrepreneurship. After Vesna told him about his project, the teacher agreed to provide help and his expertise to guide and advise Vesna. Vesna also introduced himself to a potential investor. He gave the man his business plan and pro forma financial statements. Vesna explained to the man that his pig farm would give him a competitive edge in Cambodia. Vezna explained to the investor that his competitive advantage was the size of his farm. Although there were other farmers who raised pigs in Cambodia, they mostly raised pigs for family needs and could not supply a lot of pigs, which was why most of the meat was imported from other countries. However, with a bigger farm, Vezna would be able to respond to the high demand for pork and acquire faithful customers. The man invested $10,000 in Vezna's pig farm. Vezna also used his savings and a contribution by his family to start his business. With the money, Vezna leased some land from his uncle and hired workers to help construct and run the farm. Currently, Vezna has 120 pigs and several customers who purchase his pigs on a regular basis. <clears throat> this video demonstrated presenting or demonstrating a whole problem. In this demonstration, uh, the whole problem was how to start a business, and each of the steps involved were identified with callouts as the video proceeded. In future demonstrations in this series, we will talk about each of these component skills and how to teach these component skills as well. Thank you for your participation in this project.